Minglawa, welcome to MITV special talk show Perspectives. For this show, we have invited guest of honor Xia Uijian, who is counselor in Yama Press Council and also uh, chairman of e commerce association of Myanmar and deputy chairman of Myanmar Digital Economy Association of UMFCCI. Minglawa, Xia, thank you very much for joining our show. So, this time we are going to talk about algorithms of social media. So previous weeks, we have discussed about the uh, uh, fake news, misinformation and disinformation that uh, they have a great impact on economy. So this time about also social media. So first tell us, what is the meaning of algorithm? Uh, algorithms are these, uh, the rules of a computer program. You know, it's a cause and effect relationship. Yeah, especially with the social media, it determines which news should come up on top and which posts, the posts that you put in, you know, the posts that other organizations put, which ones to come up on top and which ones should be like nobody was in it. Yeah, so these algorithms determine these, uh, these rules. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why algorithms are important. Mm -hmm. So how does the Facebook rank news and also the stories? Okay, uh, obviously, when you talk about social media in Myanmar, it's only Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially even if you talk about internet. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in Myanmar, the internet, uh, based on statistics, internet usage population is about 25 million. And Facebook usage population is about 24 million. Mm -hmm. So in Myanmar, internet is essentially the Facebook. Mm -hmm. Because normally, most of the population do not know how to do, use other uh, internet uh, Activities, do other internet activities such as uh, uh, checking on a Google or opening or reading up Gmail or you know setting up a Google account. They do not know how to do that, mm -hmm. right? They have uh, internet means just through Facebook. Uh, Facebook is run by algorithm. It's not run by you know human. You know every post that you post, there are like billions of Facebook users. Facebook do not one billion or a couple of billion, right? They don't. They don't. People there's no people to you know check and see the post, right? They just use a computer to determine though. So how your post, how your news stories, how your story should rank is determined based on four things. The first one is uh, the first one is the uh, popularity. How popular is the post? And the second one is a content. What is the content inside? Yeah. And the other one is a relationship. How is the post related to your group of friends and all these things? And the last one is how recent is your post? Right. Then based on that, there's a base baseline criteria of ranking the uh, the stories or ranking the post. To determine which post should come up first or which post should come should not be popular at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Sia, how are Facebook algorithms affecting people, especially Myanmar people? Yeah. Uh, first of all, we have to realize that in Myanmar, the internet is more or less equivalent equivalent to the Facebook, right? In Myanmar, there are about twenty five million internet users, and twenty four. More than 24 million of them is the Facebook users. Nearly, yeah. Yeah, so it essentially, uh, internet is the Facebook. I mean, most of the Myanmar people do not know other uh, internet uh, things like such as how to search using the Google or opening and reading Gmail or opening a Google account or all these. They do not know how to use that. So they, their main internet activity is uh, Facebook. So obviously, a lot of things are uh, being decided by Facebook algorithm, right? Mm -hmm. Facebook do not have you know, people supervising the activities on the Facebook itself. It's mm -hmm. a computer is that is doing that. And obviously for Facebook, everything is about money, is is advertising dollars. So uh, when you have a post, right, when you have a friend, one thousand friends that you just share your post and how many people it reach, that is called organic post, organic reach. So organic reach doesn't give any money to the Facebook. Mm -hmm. Right? You share about yourself to your friends. That's a, Facebook doesn't earn any money out of that. Right, so they don't want that organic reach. They want people to advertise. They want people. They want more sponsored posts. Right, that's why they. Uh, that's why they will reach the. They will make the organic reach as low as possible. For example, if you have one thousand friends, your organic reach is less than twenty five. Then you thought that you know all oh, you have. You thought yeah, that oh, I. I think uh, all my one thousand friends will 
read my post. No, then you're mistaken, right? Maybe you see a few clicks and you see a few likes and, you know, and then you always wonder why only, if, uh, you know, 20 likes or whatever, because very few people are reading that. Unless your post is, is oh, the content is good enough to garner emotions and reactions, mm -hmm. then you may have slightly, uh, slightly different level of organic reach, right? Because, uh, only a lot of people get excited, a lot of people see your post, then you have the, Facebook can put the advertising before and after your post, then Facebook, Facebook can earn money. That's why even for celebrity posts, right, the official organic uh, reach is less than 1%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, especially Facebook also, uh, algorithms also, also consider the uh, reaction. Reactions are referring to uh, emotions and and comments. And comments, you know about Facebook comments, right? In Myanmar, it's called, there's a met. Yeah, comments, you get. The comments, comments are also reaction. The other reaction is uh, uh, emojis. Emoji is like, what is it? Like, right, love, you know, ha ha, and angry. Yeah, these are the Facebook emojis. These are also reactions. So, so reaction itself, you know, if you have uh, 10,000 followers, Facebook will normally, uh, the, the sharing, the generic sharing, of your post, promotion, free promotion of the post will stop after you get like 25 reaction. Mm -hmm. Then the rest will depend on your content, how engaging is your content and all these things. So that's the first thing. So from 2000, uh, 2016 onwards, Facebook realized that, you know, on the Facebook, people do not create the original stories anymore. They are just sharing other things, sharing whatever newspapers say, whatever other things say. So sharing, you know, people already read that thing. So they don't, have much, you know, engagement. So engagement to Facebook is important. Engagement, giving likes and emojis and angry and all this is important. And comments are important. Why? Because only when more people engage, they have more eyeballs looking at that page. Only then they will earn more money. They can put the advertising. Then people will accidentally or purposely or you know, inquisitively click on the advertisement. Then that's how Facebook earn money. For Facebook, everything is about advertising dollar, about, about money, mm -hmm. nothing else. Okay, that's the first thing. Yeah, from 2016 onwards, Facebook realized that people are not sharing the original stories and that engagement is not as good as previously before. People are shifting to platforms like Snapchat or TikTok when the young people visit. So Facebook tried to promote uh, posts that requires engagement. Yeah, so how, which posts require engagement? Then tell me. Well, engagement means giving emojis and giving uh, comments. Which posts will generate engagement? People that makes you angry, yeah, that makes you emotional. <laughs> yeah, negative story. For example, right? For example, let's say you have a friend, yeah, who is happily married with her boyfriend after five years of going together. People will say, oh, okay, that's not much emotional. But if you have a friend who is married to husband at the same time, what do you think? Oh, yeah, I swear, curse, uh, angry, or uh, whatever, ha <laughs> ha, and all these emotions will come in. So which are the two posts you think Facebook will push up? Facebook, not Facebook, Facebook algorithm will push up. The uh, one I that is married to two husbands at the same time. Yeah. yeah, they push it up. So whether true or not, Facebook don't care. No? Mm -hmm. yeah, for Facebook, it's all about money and all about how many people viewing, how many people engaging so that they can earn money more out of the advertisers. Yeah, that's the thing. In 2017, they even make it worse. What they do is Facebook give the waiting you know, for every emoji, there is a weight, like and a ha ha and all this thing. They give the angry emoji five times as five times as much weight as the light emoji. Mm -hmm. So when you give angry more, that post go up the rank. So more people will see that post, mm -hmm. right? So that is you know the, that type of thing. For example, let's say oh government is mismanaging the economy, dollar rates are falling, the economy is collapsing, then everybody will post what? Mm -hmm. angry, angry, angry. Right, yeah, then, then that, that post position will go up. But however, you say, oh, government is helping the flood victims and helping the poor. Nobody interested. That post will disappear. Mm -hmm. So whether the first news story true or not, Facebook don't care, mm -hmm. right? The economy may not be collapsing. Dollar rate may not be 6,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but why do you see all these posts more often? Right, the fact that dollar rate become six thousand or ten thousand, or economy is going up, that everybody is, you know, running away from Yemen. All these posts, why do you say see more often? Because of Facebook algorithm, mm -hmm. not because it is true.
-hmm. Yeah, because Facebook algorithm pushes the post that makes you angry and that makes you uh, swear and curse and everything at the end. Why? Because more people will come. Then they earn what? More, more money out, out of advertisement. That's why. Yeah, so that eventually everything is about that. It becomes that. Mm -hmm. So uh, what can we learn from knowing this? Well, here, what we are talking about is, you know, here we are living in a world, in a Facebook world, we are trying to make money out of people's privacy, people's shame, people's embarrassment with half-truths, fake news, right? And the people who become victims of cyberbullying, social punishment, or online harassment, they are the victims, they have suffered the losses. Who is profiting from them? First is the people who spread the fake news, right? Because they become popular, mm -hmm. right? Because they are, they are new, the, the news that they write got more angry and more people come and you know, the, the, the whole thing become a you know, self-serving tool that to become popular. If you want to be popular, just create some things that people will swear and curse at everyone. Yeah, so that, that become a culture where Facebook whole world become full of angry and divisive content and you know, people swearing and cursing and all the rude things that's the whole thing about Facebook world. Mm -hmm. And they don't, as I mentioned just now, they don't care whether it's true or not. So the victims, cyberbully, social punishment, online harassment, using fake news, fake stories, and half truth. Right? The people who profit, the people who created these fake news, fake stories, and half truth, plus Facebook itself. Yeah. yeah. Through the so, advertisements. Yeah, so they are, you know, they are making money out of people's miseries. Mm -hmm. you know, some people suffer, some people... Even if you heard of the uh, case of uh, the guy from Rutgers University in America, his name is Dyla Clementi. He was uh, getting close with one guy. He was just 18. He was uh, getting close with one guy at the university, man-to-man -man relationship. And another guy videotaped that and posted it on Facebook. You know what Dyla Clementi did? He committed suicide. Right. So, you know, that thing spreads so much and so many sharing and all these things. So who benefit? Right. So the guy, the guy committed suicide. Yeah. Right. In the previous episode, you said that uh, you have to be thick-skinned, yeah? So that guy needs to be thick-skinned. So instead of that, he sacrificed his life. Uh, at the same time, you see, when you are young, you can be thick-skinned when you are 40 or 50. Mm -hmm. Right, but when you're 18, mm -hmm. when you're 20, or when you're just 15, mm -hmm. how to be this skin? Mm -hmm. You are just coming into this world, mm -hmm. right? You, do, you thought that, you know, people are good. You are brought up to say that people are good. But in the social media world of Facebook, right, people mine on your private, privacy, private photo, private data, you know, private conversations that you and I have, and they make it, they take it out of context, and they take half content, and they make it worse and they try to, you know, harass you. And the point is, they're not only real, they're making money out of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that world, youngsters, how do they understand? Mm -hmm. Right, because we read and we read a lot, that's how we understand. That's why we can be uh, a lot this game, we can be this game. They cannot, they mm -hmm. cannot this game. But the fact is, you know, people, uh, the, that, the whole world, virtual world of Facebook, Right, it's full of all this. Ninety-nine uh, percent is not true. Fake, fake things, and it's an ecosystem of uh, making money out of people suffering and people misery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how do we counter this? Yeah. How, okay. Obviously, how do you? Uh, if you go back a little bit to Buddhism or whatever, how do you counter hatred and anger? Right? Mm -hmm. Just now, all the posts that you talk about, right? They, they, it, it, try to ignite hatred. Right? Hatred and anger. You try to make you angry because the government is man mismanaging the economy. It's a fake, fake story. They write. And that's why dollar is 10,000 jet. Right? It creates people anger. Right? They create hatred to the, towards the government. Right? There is the end trying to make money out of that. And you, because of that, you know how much Myanmar has lost out, right? This whole events that happened in 2000. 21, 2022, all the terrorist activities and all this, is because a lot of things is due to Facebook, mm -hmm. 
然后 Facebook 飞女神 all these things generate they generate hatred. Yeah, you, know, you want to hate more. Yeah, you know, for you for for working at this MITV, we hate you because you are this that you support this that. Right, this is it may not be true, but uh, they create fake news. So how do we counter that? So the same thing. How do you counter hatred and uh, anger? You try to be uh, merciful, and you try to be uh, you try to put yourself in another person's shoes, right? Oh, you try, yeah, you try to why? Because you know, you know, not to become like uh, even like Tyler Clementi. If you go and give a give it out out of there, you go and give a comment. Oh, this is fake news. It may not be true. This is just a uh, trying to do the cyber bullying. And even if you go and support that person who got social punishment or cyber bullying with a little bit of comments, right? Yeah, then that that even in one single comment, that is very helpful to the people who is the victim. Because the victims only earn suffering. They don't earn any money. The people who earn profit out of this are the fake news agencies and the Facebook only. Right? Little so people may write all the bad news about you, but you are the only one suffer. Right? So knowing that you are suffering, if I can put in a comment that my friend, don't worry, this is just a fake news. I am always on your side. That will be how how do you think how encouraging would that be to the victim? Yeah, so you got to be you got to press your sympathy and empathy towards the victim at the same time, stand up for what is right mm -hmm. there. By, for example, at least you can not share that thing, mm -hmm. right? Not knowing that it's not true mm -hmm. or knowing that, not knowing that whether it's true, the best is not sharing your support in the victim. Plus, you can do better by giving him an encouraging comment, giving him empathy, showing your sympathy. And plus, you know, uh, giving him a comment that I'm by your side. Yeah, don't be. It's always these people sharing the fake news. Yeah, by using the writing something like that, you'll be helping. That's the only way to combat. Yeah, this uh, fake news story because you see, it's not the people who are doing it. You can write to Facebook a, a million times; they're not going to change it because it's the algorithms that they have already set it up that way. Mm -hmm. So, is it possible to close the whole Facebook in your mind? Wow. Oh, okay. It's uh, technically is extremely difficult. Yeah, it's close to impossible, right? In China, they have not been using Facebook from day one. They don't allow Facebook from day one. Yeah, even then, you go to China, you can use Facebook through the VPN. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so even the big China with lots of technology, lots of advanced, they can still cannot close down the Facebook. Yeah, but knowing that Facebook algorithms are harmful, are harmful to the society, and harmful to the whole country, you can take certain action. By not believing in what they say, and as I say, express the sympathy, and empathy, and encouragement towards the people who become victims of this uh, cyberbullying and social punishment and uh, online harassment. Mm -hmm. So, any last word for advice to our audience? Yeah, uh, obviously, you know, in 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 in. In Myanmar, there's a saying, right? If you do something good, something good will happen. If you do bad, something bad will happen. The same thing Facebook is doing all the time, bad, right? By the fact that they don't care whether the news is true or false, I mean, it's, obviously they don't care, but uh, obviously it's very difficult to know whether the news is true or false in a foreign language. But think about it, Myanmar used at 24 million. Even if 10% of that, 2 by 4 million posts on Facebook every day, yeah? Out of 24 million, 10 percent, 2 by 4 million posts on Facebook. That means 2 by 4 million posts. They only post one time a day. Some people post like 10 posts a day. Yeah. yeah. So even there, how the Myanmar language speaking employees in Facebook, there are about 10 of them. How do they review all the 2 by 4 million posts? Impossible. It's very difficult even for one person to review 100 posts. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's about computers. Computers are doing everything. Yeah. It's an algorithm. Computer algorithm is deciding to push forward the fake news. Why? Because it makes you angry. It makes you engage in that post. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Facebook is not doing anything good at all. Yeah. At the same time, so not doing good me. Oh. They are earning money. <laughs> yeah. No, not doing good me. They are uh, the in, in Buddhism. That is, you do something good, you do something good. You do something bad. They are doing bad. A lot of bad things are happening to them already. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, in the, when the Apple announced the introduction of iPhone fourteen. They close down third party, third party apps, including Facebook ability to track the uh, Apple users. 
without tracking, for example, if you're tracking me, for example, if you're looking for through the internet, you're looking for furniture, Facebook will push in the furniture related ads to your account, right? Whatever post that you're looking on top, there's a furniture. Why? Because they earn more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, so that's got targeted advertising. Mm -hmm. So Apple closed that third party apps, including Facebook ability to track what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of that, Facebook ability to provide targeted advertising is close to con. So that's why Facebook share price dropped like uh, nearly a trillion dollars, about $700 billion mm -hmm. since that announcement. Mm -hmm. That's the first bad thing that happened. And the second one is, you know, a lot, uh, since the world is, uh, the world population become more knowledgeable on the fact that almost everything on the Facebook mm -hmm. is a lie and, uh, you know, fake news and not true. They try to not use the Facebook, and you know, especially in the West, in US and Europe, a lot of people are not, no longer using the Facebooks anymore, right? They, 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 they are, they are, what is it? Their accounts have dropped. And the last thing is they try to launch the new product called uh, the new product Horizon World, and nobody used that. You know, they target initially targeted 500,000 users, now not even 150,000 users for the Horizon World. So they are also falling short on their own uh, what is it, activity and the growth and the company is also uh, suffering. Yeah, so, and they have also removed a lot of staff yeah, for that. So as uh, Martin Luther King say, Obama say, the arc of moral universe is long. Yeah, in terms of moral, the good and the bad is very long. Some people are good, some people are bad, some people are very bad. But in the end, it depends to a justice. So in the end, justice always prevails. So I think that will, Facebook will also lead that way. Yes, I, I also support this slogan because every situation there is a reaction and also reaction, yeah? So thank you very much for sharing your knowledge about the algorithms of social media. Thank you. You have been watching MITV's special talk show, Perspectives. Thanks for joining us.